We've got a great first question here. Uh, this is one of those cases where we, we can have an instinct about whether we want to add or delete this sentence, but that doesn't mean that we should follow that instinct. We need to look at the answer choices and make sure that our instinct matches with the reasons, the becauses that are listed in the choices. Now, I think a lot of people actually have a bad instinct about this one. So they can see that the sentence that we care about is about fossils. We can see that the sentence before uh, that, the one that we're trying to place uh, talks about fossils, so that seems like it's related. But this is a great example of the, the strategy or the concept that main ideas are repeated ideas, right? So what's really going on in this paragraph? So we're talking about paleontologists, right? People who study fossils. Uh, we're talking about fossils right here, right? Uh, before the number one. Um, ancient species maybe has to do with that. Here's paleontology again. So right, so this idea maybe of fossils is kind of repeated, but let's really look deeper here. What is this really about? It's about printing, right? They're using technology to gain a greater understanding of the distant past with the aid of computed tomography. I don't know what that means, but I can tell it's you know part of this idea of modern technology, uh, scanning, 3D printing, accurate models of prehistoric fossil. These models have expanded researchers' knowledge of ancient species and blah, 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 advanced the field of paleontology for years to come, right? So there's a better idea, an idea that's more repeated and more clearly the main topic of this paragraph, right? It might not be an idea that we understand fully. That's okay. That's why they gave us a passage so we can learn more about it. But it's, a, it's still the more repeated, more important idea. And the fact that it's repeated both before, let's see here, I'll highlight now, before and after the one tells me that if I'm going to insert a sentence here, it really better be about the models. It really better be about the technology. And if we look, fossils provide paleontologists with a convenient way of estimating the age of the rock in which the fossils are found. There is nothing about the technology in this sentence. So it is not related to the main idea of the paragraph or of the two sentences that we want to insert it between. So a lot of people's instincts here are wrong because they just look at that word fossils, a familiar word, and they just kind of don't read any further than that. But we need to make sure it fits with the paragraph and it does not fit with it. So it is not a useful fact. It is a kind of stupid definition of what a fossil is. We already know that. And so we can just kind of move on. Um, so that gets us to between choices C and D. And uh, the answer is going to be C here. And really the strategy that, that helps us at the end is the one that we use in a lot of reading questions when we have to decide between two similar choices. We want to be careful of strong words, right? Things that go too far, right? So saying that it is not directly related is, you know, a kind of weak statement, right? That's, it's broad, it's vague, and that's why it's good is, is yeah, I mean, it's not directly related. It, it's not about the modern technology and the scans and the models and all that stuff. Um, D, though, it undermines the main claim of the passage. That's a little too strong um, because it's not like including this sentence is going to attack the point of the paragraph. It's not really like an argument against something that someone in the paragraph has already said. It's just like a random fact about fossils, one that we don't really need. Uh, and if you're ever unsure, you know, you're deciding between these two kinds of choices and you have to make a choice, the, the best bet is the weaker answer. So words like undermine, they're not always wrong, but they make me nervous. So if I had to choose, C would have been the better guess anyway. So hopefully uh, this all makes sense now and this is a good question to kind of think about as you do other ideas questions throughout the, this section and throughout any writing section really is, is don't just look at the most like immediate words, look at the big picture, see what's repeated throughout a paragraph to find main ideas, right? They, they love this little trick, this trick here of fossils to fossils. That is not a coincidence. And if you know that those things exist, you're less likely to fall for those kinds of traps.